How's it going and welcome to Villains Voiced, a series where I go over your favorite villains that you love to hate. In today's video we'll be diving into Ezek Strozny, a man that leverages his own strength around town. Of course this video is going to have a ton of spoilers, so players that plan on playing in Curse of Strahd do not watch this. But DMs that want added insight on how we can run this character, go ahead and stick around because we have a lot to cover. And here he is, the proverbial sheriff of the town. While normal sheriffs of towns go ahead and use their reputation in a good way, he's not doing that at all. He is instilling fear into the people's hearts. He is leading this town to safety, admittedly, but is it worth it? Is the sacrifice of all the freedoms and is the fear of being thrown into the stockades, being beat up or even killed worth it? That's hard to say. That is what this guy is doing. He is in the employ of the Baron, Burgomaster Velakovich, and Izek does what he says. So when your players arrive to Velaki for the very first time, and they converse with the gate guards and are finally let in, they can look around and see this town. It is so much different from the village of Barovia. In the village of Barovia, the people are scared and fearful of all that is around, and they are in a perpetual sorrow. The people of this town seem to be going about their business. However, there's certainly something not right here. The people are wearing smiles on their faces. They are not truly smiling. If your players happen to bump into Ezek, they will see this man, this towering figure, over six feet tall, but that's not the imposing part. This man is wielding a demon arm, a arm that stretches down the length of his body. It has spines tingling out from the sides, extremely long and sharp fingernails with fire brimming at them and he wields a massive great axe the great axe is the size of most people around the village they will see this imposing figure walk up with a cadre of guards and he will look to the players and say i am Isaac strasny if you step out of line you go to the stockades if you really step out of line i will make you suffer and this threat is all the more intimidating, especially if the players see Ezek for the first time in the town square. They'll see that there's other people thrown in the stockades, but not just men, women and children too. If your players go ahead and try to be cheeky and clever and ask any questions in regards of what are the laws of the town, or try to ask what's up with the demon arm, or anything at all, he will simply look to the party and say, if you don't get out of my sight, I will ensure you can't ask any more questions ever again. And hopefully that should be enough for your players to get the understanding of what's going on here. He is large and in charge, and because he's flanked by all those guards, that'll show to the players that this guy is an authority in town, and that your players cannot mess with him, or else they will lose the town's trust. Now, of course, your players are going to be fish out of water here. They're going to be sticking out like sore thumbs. There is only humans in the land of Barovia, and a lot of them are wearing similar clothing styles. So your players are naturally going to stick out, and this is going to be for their detriment. If your players do anything that shakes the ship around here, if your players do anything in regards of stealing or assault, or just, you know, going ahead and saying something bad about the Burgomaster, Ezek will go ahead and be launched into an investigation. Crowds will be gathered, and Ezek will go ahead and start marching around the town, yelling out, No one in town is dumb enough to cross me! Where are these new folk? And if your players are not stealthy or quick enough, then fearful townsfolk will go ahead and give away their position. The people of this town don't want to get on Ezek's bad side, and they will do anything to go ahead and appease him. If your players do a minor offense, and when I say minor, I mean extremely minor, such as cracking a joke that is against the town or the burgomaster, if they say something in regards of the festivals are stupid, very minor fractions here, Ezek will go ahead and turn to the party and say, how does five days in the stock sound? Hmm? What about ten days? That seems fair to me. At which point the guards will go ahead and throw whatever individuals are caught into the stockades and it's there where they're going to be sitting for a long time. And that's going to suck because they're not allowed to talk, 
They're not allowed to do anything. They're not allowed to move. Their lives are going to be miserable. And of course, that was just for minor infractions, being put in the stockades for a decent amount of time and belittled by the townsfolk. What happens if your players do something major, such as theft or even more extreme murder? If Ezek catches on to this and catches up to the party, he will turn to them and say, You have one chance. Leave this town now, or you will suffer. And mind you, he will never be alone when he is doing these threats. He will always have a squadron of guards at his side, and if possible, he can actually rally a decent number of people by his side. He can get up to 50 Barovian commoners armed with torches, pitchforks, and clubs. He is going to lead these people against the party because he sees them as a threat to all that he's worked so hard for. Yes, Ezek is an evil human being to the core, but at the end of the day, he is somewhat bringing a sort of lawfulness to the land, specifically to Velaki. If your party feels that the town is unjust and they want to stand up against this oppression, they can go ahead and stand their ground and fight against the mob. They can go up against the guards and Ezek, and at which point, if they stand their ground, Ezek is going to yell out, Guards! Beat them down! Fight them into submission! And hopefully that'll telegraph the fact that Ezek and the guards are not going to fight to kill, they are going to fight to subdue. They will go ahead and try and grapple people, they will go ahead and push people to the ground, and they will go ahead and knock them out, not go for killing blows. If the PCs get overwhelmed by the guards and Ezek, they will have all of their gear stripped away. Ezek will go ahead and take the battered and beaten party and throw them out of Velaki, at which point he will mock them saying, No weapons, no armor, you are as good as dead. May the wolves feast upon you. This is a very likely outcome if your players are of a lower level. Ezek is incredibly powerful just by himself, but if he has a squad of guards by his side, a whopping 12 or maybe even 24, and then of course all the Barovian commoners, that would easily overwhelm lower level parties. But if you have a higher level party, then they could go ahead and turn things around. They could beat the guards, maybe either killing them or subduing them, at which point Ezek will look around and realize that this is an unwinnable fight. He will run away screaming out, you have made the biggest mistake of your lives. The people will turn on you now. At which point, Ezek is going to go ahead and retreat to the Burgomaster's mansion. He's going to go ahead and try and hold up in there and give the party the run of the town. Of course, he knows after seeing what the party can do that maybe he can't go up against them directly. He is going to go ahead and try and weather this thing out. But you see, the thing is, is... The people are going to run away and hide. They fear the players. They fear what they can do because these people have grown up their whole lives with this supposed law and order. And with that crumbling away, they're not going to know what to do. So over the course of the special events that can take place in Velaki, one of them sticks out in particular, Tiger Tiger. If the Wachter Bros release a tiger and people start reporting that there is a wild beast on the loose, then Ezek is going to catch wind of this and cry out, Guards! To me! We have a beast to slay! And he's going to go ahead and lead those guards over to where the tiger is. And this is the point where your party can go ahead and try and intervene and allow Rictavio to get to the tiger first before the guards. This could be a race against time. If Rictavio gets to the Tiger first, Rictavio can lead it away. But if the guards get to the Tiger first, Ezek is going to slay the thing. Now after the beast is gone, whether because Ezek himself killed the Tiger, or the Tiger managed to get away and Rictavio was able to get it to the wagon, Ezek will go ahead and yell out, Where is that bard? Do not let him leave this town unanswered. At which point this is going to be another race against time. Rictavio needs to get out of town because he of course sticks out like a sore thumb. He is a half-elf, he is a bard, he is not from these lands, and he's got a carnival wagon. If he is the sole reason that there is a beast that managed to roam loose in the city, Ezek is not going to allow that to happen again. He will go ahead and try and capture Rictavio, and this is once again a point where your party can go ahead and help out Rictavio. If they can delay the guards enough, then Rectavio can get out of town and make his way over to Van Richten's tower. 
Now, of course, there's something very special and creepy about Ezek. Ezek is obsessed with Irina. Now, why is that? Well, that is because they are brother and sister. When they were kids, they were led out of the village to go fishing, but they were set upon by a dire wolf. Ezek lost his arm in this engagement, and Irina became lost in the woods. Eventually, Irina found her way to the village of Barovia, but Ezek grew up alone and miserable. In the orphanage is where his evil tendencies started manifesting. Even with one arm, he was able to kill other kids. But, you see, the thing is, is he began having dreams. He forgot about his sister because this was young and very traumatic experience. But now he has these dreams. He sees Irina. He doesn't know her name, but he wants her in a strange way. He wants her as another one of the dolls that he has. Oh yes, he collects dolls. Ezek, on a monthly basis, goes to Blinsky's dolls and demands a doll be made that matches the description that he gives. And Ezek doesn't even pay for these. He threatens to burn down the shop if this doll isn't created. So poor Blinsky has to toil away and every single month recreate this doll. But every time, every month, these dolls get more and more vivid, more and more close to what Ezek truly sees. So if Ezek spots Irina in the village of Vallaki, he will go ahead and immediately start storming his way over to her. He will yell out, You! You! You come with me! If the others resist, arrest them! At which point, Ezek will go ahead and grab Irina and make his way over to the Burgomaster's mansion. This is unfortunate because no one is going to be able to resist. All of the people of the village are going to simply turn a blind eye and the guards will go ahead and listen to his orders. So if your party resists, they will be going up against the town and that is an unfortunate position to be in. Ezek will take Irina to his room where he will go ahead and prop her up in the corner just like all the other dozens if not hundreds of dolls that litter the area. A fight with Ezek is almost inevitable, whether that be because the players want to save Irina, or they go ahead and accidentally violate some arbitrary law, or because they have talked to Lady Walker and realized that change must happen, and in order for that change to happen, Ezek must be killed, then the fight will commence, and he will go ahead and fight. In a fight, he will go ahead and say such lines as, I've cut down stronger looking people than you. If you survive my blows, the wolves will have a feast tonight. Perhaps my fire is in order. Burn! Burn! I will choke the life out of you with my own hand. I should have killed you all as you stepped into this peaceful town. Your death will show as an example. Ezek is a powerful foe, not just because himself is a powerful foe, but it's because he has the backing of the town guards. The town guards aren't that strong, but it's the fact that that is what the people are going to ally themselves with. Unless there are some extenuating circumstances, Ezek is going to have many guards by his side, and that numbers right there is going to make him even stronger. He will go ahead and slash away with two hands, dealing a tremendous amount of damage with his brute force. And if someone is far enough away, he will go ahead and wave his demonic arm and a fire will spring out and be hurled at them. But while, yes, he does have a demonic arm, he is still a man and any man can be cut down. If he is beaten down into submission, he will go ahead and say to the party, <sighs> So, what now? Kill me! And have a lawless town? Let Strahd come walking in. If this fight is taking place specifically after he has tried it or even succeeded in kidnapping Irina, he will go ahead and tell them, I dream of her. She plagues my thoughts and haunts my mind. Who is she? And why do I see her so clearly? And yet... She is enshrouded in mist. I want her. I long to have her. I yearn to see her 
added to my collection. This startling revelation will be monstrous for both the party and Irina. If they see Ezek's room, all these dolls that all resemble Irina, they are going to be curious. However, Ezek doesn't know the true answers and Irina doesn't know the true answers. Will they ever be able to find out that they are actually siblings? Who knows, but perhaps that is better left for a later date. Another special event that can occur is the Feast of St. Andrews. If the feast goes down, people are slain, and of course the father himself, Father Petrovich, is killed, then the people are going to grow furious. There is going to be a mob that forms to oust the Burgomaster. Ezek is not going to be caught up in that mob. He is going to go ahead and jump out a window, hop a fence, and get out of town. As he is running away from the mob, this horde, he is going to go ahead and yell out, You will all see what happens when you throw away our rule. You all invite death to your very doors. And he will go ahead and make his way out into the wilderness. Now the book goes ahead and gives us some suggestions. He could go ahead and make his way over to Argenvastult. And what lies in there? Honestly, not much. He probably wouldn't have a great time. But something I would recommend is, if he goes to Argenvastult, maybe in his anger, in his rage, he goes in there and is slain by all the revenants that reside inside. And because he is so fueled by anger, he himself rises as a revenant. That could be awesome. If Ezek retreats down the road to the village of Berez, then there's not going to be much for him there. But what if Baba La Saga saw him and decided to take him in as an ally? That would be terrifying. Baba La Saga, a powerful spellcaster, and then she has a powerful man to do a whole bunch of the grunt work for her? That would be awesome. If he retreats to the old bone grinder, perhaps he finds himself in the employ of a coven of hags. Of course, if your players have already dealt with the hags, maybe he goes ahead and just takes up shop in this empty place and makes sure that he keeps a low profile. Another suggestion I have is that he retreats to the village of Barovia. And at the village of Barovia, the only person that could ever potentially try and threaten him would be Ismark. But Ezek would easily be able to beat Ismark down and Ezek could go ahead and try and impose his own tyrannical rule on the village of Barovia. There is so many great things you can do with this villain later on. Now, no matter where he goes and no matter what he does, hopefully your players can put a stop to this evil being or potentially try and turn him. But that could prove pretty hard as he has been traumatized for years over inflicting all these cruel actions on his fellow townsfolk. If your players are able to smite him down and put an end to him, in his dying throes, he will say, I, I will see her now. Oh, come to me. And perhaps death will be a far better existence to Ezek than life was, because his life was tragic. Evil as it was, it was tragic. And just like that, that's Ezek. This guy is fascinating. He ties into the world so well. He is an enigma. He is strange. He is scary. He is so many things. And he works incredibly well into any campaign. Is he purely antagonistic and does anything in his power to put a stop to the players? Or is he just a man that is trying to keep the law but enforces it in the only way he can through fear? Is Ezek a villain through and through, or an antagonist, or potentially someone that can be turned? Who knows? So go ahead and tell me, how do you plan on playing Ezek? Is he going to be able to reconvene with his sister? What is his thought process when he finally catches Irina? Is he going to be able to throw her away in his room and lock her away? Or is he going to try and understand why he has dreamed about her? Maybe the revelation could come at some point that they are brother and sister, and perhaps there could be a touching moment there. Who knows? Is Ezek going to be able to get away from town and set up shop somewhere else? If he shows up anywhere else in the campaign, that would be fun. Reoccurring villains are a blast, and this campaign is rife with a ton of reoccurring villains, so go ahead and use them. That is going to do it for me for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to all my amazing patrons up here. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. That is going to do it for me for this one. Thank you so much for listening, 
and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.